Yes guys, welcome to five dribbling sessions for you to do at home. Very simple, again, you only need a small space, just like passing, you can do it nearly anywhere. You don't need cones, you can use objects, bottles, whatever it is you need to do. So here's five dribbling drills you can do at home, let's go. So to start off the session, we have got V-taps, a great way to get your mind in the right frame for dribbling, using all parts of your feet. Make sure you're doing three sets of 15 seconds each, some on your right, some on your left, and then using both feet too. Number two, we have the Ronaldinho drill. Such an amazing drill for dribbling. I'd 100% recommend this. You can make up the sets yourself, really. I mean, I recommend three sets, but the minutes you do it for is completely up to you as it, as it is quite tiring. It's really good, though. You get to use lots of different parts of your feet, lots of tight, small touches, and just react to whatever cone or object you're coming up against. And if you guys at any point make a mistake, don't worry about it, get another ball, get the ball that you've just lost and keep going with the session. After the first set, you might want to change a few things to add more cones in or add less, make the pitch bigger, it's completely up to you, but just change it to what you think is best. What do you reckon to that, Max? Absolutely knackering. Gets all the little muscles in your legs. Now, if you want to take it to the next level, well, you could just add a flying bat. Number three, we have got the tight touch turns. I feel like this is really good, especially if you want to work on your weaker foot, because I know you get like this sort of like comfortable feeling when you're going around with your right foot, but if you've got a weak left foot, it's really good to get this sort of nice coordination and feeling as you're going around. This is a Chucky Beat production. Like I've said before, it really doesn't matter what objects you are using, just make sure you're doing three sets, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off both feet. Number four, we have got the creative turns. This lets you work on a variety of turns you want to do, limits your touches if you're doing a big or a smaller touch and literally just practice turns that you can use in a game. And finally, the last drill is all to replicate 1v1. So this is just going at a cone, a pole, whatever it is, and just throwing a skill at it and turning around and repeating this just to be creative and get all them little touches in. You can do three sets of these for a minute or however long you want to do so.
And there you have five simple and effective dribbling sessions. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like for more and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace. For those of you who want to support the channel that little bit extra, you can now become a member via the link in the description for some exclusive features to the channel.